Hi Internet, after a few weeks of development, I am now happy to announce a new version of Kandu, the cross-platform Pi menu which I am currently developing. And this version includes a couple of new features, changes and bug fixes. However, there is one really really cool new feature and that is menu themes. Yes, you can now change for the very first time the look and feel of the menu. Okay, let me show this to you. The default theme, which is still included in Kandu, doesn't look much different than before. However, you can now enter the menu editor and change the menu theme by clicking on the menu themes tab. And you will see that there are four themes included by now. But in the future we will most likely have many many more themes here. And you cannot only change the active theme, but for each theme you can also change the colors. So for instance if you do not like this pinkish highlight color of the default theme, you can click on the edit colors button and you will see that you can for instance change the background color, the text color, the border color or the hover color. And for this example for instance we can choose like a light bluish color here. And if you now have a look at the menu you will see that the highlight color is now blue. Alright, let's reset the color again. This can be done by clicking on this button here. And then we can have a look at the other themes. Because I think this will give you a good overview of what the themes are capable of. So for instance here we have this so called clean circle theme. So on the first glance this theme doesn't look much different when compared to the default theme. However there are some major differences. For instance you see that those tiny submenu items which are usually drawn around the submenus they are not visible here. Instead submenus are styled completely different, differently here when compared to the action items. So the final items they look like this here and the submenus they have a white circle as a background. And also in this theme you can change the color. So if again you don't like this pinkish color here you can edit the colors and for instance choose a dark green for those final items here. And then the menu will look like this. Okay, next we have these neon lights theme here. And this is especially designed for dark backgrounds. So on a light background, well it works as well but it doesn't look that good. So I will change to the dark mode here. And now I have a dark background. And on that background, this neon lights theme looks really really cool. Yeah, one cool thing of this theme is definitely this glowing rotating circle here in the center. And creating stuff like this is pretty easy because the themes of Kandu they are using CSS. And CSS comes with a large set of powerful things. You can easily create animations, you can create transitions and you can also create effects like for instance these glow effects here for the icons. And with some creativity I think you will be able to come up with pretty cool and unique themes. All right. Um, then let's, let's have a look at the last theme. This one is called Rainbow Labels. And it demonstrates again another cool capability of the menu themes. And that is that themes can choose to draw the item label not only in the center of the menu but also directly at the, as a label at the menu item. So creating themes which look similar to that one here is possible as well and I think this opens a whole lot of different possibilities for creating menu themes. Yeah, last but not least there's another cool feature of the theme engine of Kandu and that is that you can choose different themes based on your system's color mode. So if you're on light color mode you can choose a different theme and a different set of colors for that theme than if your menu is in dark mode currently. And to enable this you have to check this checkbox down here and then you can choose a different theme depending on whether you are in light or in dark mode. My system is currently in dark color mode so for instance here I will choose this neon light themes and then I can change my system to light mode. It also shows down here your system is currently in light mode so this changes if I toggle here now I'm in dark mode and let's go to light mode and I may choose the clean circle here for instance. So we are now here in light mode and we have the funny green arrows from before here. We will now have this theme and if I ch change my system to dark style I will now have the neon lights theme. 
And this not only works, as I said, with the entire theme, but also with the theme color. So you can have the same theme in light and dark mode, but with a different color set. All right, let's have a look at the other changes which come with this version. Here's the change log of Kandu. As I said before, menu themes, this is maybe the most important and coolest thing here, but there are also some other interesting features. First, we have an initial version of a keyboard-based navigation. So this has been requested many, many times. And in the future, I think this will get uh, even more powerful, but it already works a bit. So if you open the menu, you can now use your number keys to choose between the items. So the first item up here has the number one and then two, three, four, five, and so on. And you can, can remember them if you want to. So for instance, if I now press one on my keyboard, this first item will be selected. Again, one is the topmost here. And with zero, zero, you can always go back and even close the menu. Then we now have automatic menu radius adjustment. So if you have many, many items in the menu, which of course you shouldn't really have to make selections more precise, but if you happen to have many items, they used to overlap. And now maybe you can choose that theme here and it gets more more obvious. Um, let's add a bunch of items here. In the menu editor here, it won't scale, but yeah, you can still select the items. Anyways, if it looks like this, um, your menu will now be scaled up. So the sub menus, they are still pretty small here, but the root menu here now gets bigger so that all the items have enough space. All right, and last but not least, we have a new feature and that is it's now possible to quickly switch between menus if one is already open. So if I opened our huge menu here and I press the wrong hotkey for instance and I actually wanted to choose another menu before I had to close that one and then press another hotkey to open the other menu. But now I can simply press the hotkey of the other menu and it will directly switch to that other menu without that I have to close it in between. All right, I think that's it for now. There are a couple of other changes and fixes. Um, you can have a look at those. We won't go into detail now, but I think the menu themes, this is by far the most important feature of this new version here. So I'm really looking forward to the themes which you will be creating for Kandu. In the future, we will have some kind of an online repository where users can share the themes that they created. Um, for now, you are invited to join our Discord server and show your cool creations there. Yeah, that's it for now. So if you like Kandu, I would really appreciate it if you become a sponsor on my Kofi page. The link to that is below this video in the description. That being said, um, just head over to GitHub, download the latest release, show it to your friends and yeah, just, just have fun with it and stay tuned for future updates. See you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.